It's a common line of thinking. Men are not the best about getting the health care they need. Guilty as charged. Top doctor and men's health expert Dr. Amy Perlman says that could be putting their health at risk. Dr. Perlman is here now with more on her mission to raise awareness for men's health. Thank you for being here. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much for having me. Why is it, do you think, that are men, men are more reluctant than women to visit the doctor and get that screening? Absolutely. And, you know, November, the month of November, is this incredible time during the year where we can break some of these stigmas. Now, according to a survey that was published by the Cleveland Clinic, 72% of men said they would rather be doing household chores like cleaning toilets than going to the doctor. And I noticed in my practice that while both men and women are more likely to give into concerns with embarrassment, uh, when it comes to particular issues, men give into that fear and embarrassment even more. And so they don't end up seeing a healthcare provider. So we have to get men plugged into the, into the healthcare system sooner rather than later. It's a big deal, too, because we're not talking about just basic like physicals and things like that. There's some real health issues that men are missing out on preventing or having addressed. What are some of those that we should be looking out for? Yeah, absolutely. And the real health issues are the same ones that a lot of women face. Things like heart disease, cancer, depression, but also unique issues to men like Peyronie's disease. What advice do you have for men who are embarrassed to seek medical attention for certain issues? Yeah, you know, there there are a lot of barriers and sometimes the most difficult part is picking up the phone and calling a doctor's office. So what I encourage men and their loved ones to do is learn a little bit about the condition beforehand. This can help you provide some or understand some basic questions and things to even just think about even prior to seeing a healthcare provider. Do you have any tips for, for women? Because let's face it, I'm, I'm a married man. My mom forever used to make my appointments. My wife handles a lot of my appointments. What do you say to women to help empower them, to help empower their men to seek that help and, and support them? There are a lot of tips that I have, and I've learned a lot, certainly being a woman in a men's health field. And, and we know that women are more likely to visit a doctor than men, so we tend to be more familiar with the healthcare system. And in my experience, I do find that men, similar to your situation, they oftentimes see a healthcare provider because their partner or spouse encourage them to seek treatment. So for the partners out there, this message is for you. It's not about adding to your mental load. We know that you have a lot going on, but it's about supporting that important man in your life, whether it's your father, your spouse, your brother, your uncle, so he knows he can rely on you to be understanding as he's overcoming these concerns about his health. So for those of us with these important men in our lives who are silently suffering, we need to encourage these guys to acknowledge their condition and seek help. And early intervention matters. We got to get the guys in to see a healthcare provider. I know sometimes just my wife simply saying, I need you to live long enough for me to like enjoy retirement with you. Things like that really help me go, all right, I, I can at least stop by the doctor. So Dr. Perlman, thank you so much for taking some time and chatting with us and uh, good, good information there. We certainly appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you so much. And you have a lovely day. Love